In the last video, I updated all hammer sensors. Now for the dampers, ran into several problems along the way too. First, a recap. Here is a grand piano action. Hammer sensors mount above the shank and send position measurements to a hammer processing mainboard. Damper sensors are at the back of key. Send signals to a damper processing mainboard. Same hardware as for hammers, but different firmware. Damper measurements are sent to the hammer mainboard over CAN bus. Signal processing is with real-time firmware code. Ethernet. MIDI is output from the hammer mainboard. Also, a hammer sensor bar, damper sensor bar, hammer stop bar. Everything is open source. Cool. Backup key spacing is inconsistent. Measured for each. Drill a test. Install a sensor. Check height. Check with a damper mainboard. LED says it works. Drill 88 holes. Instead of soldering 88 new version 0.8 sensors, I decided to reuse the 0.6 version sensors I removed in the last video. The 0.6 sensor has a trimmer, the 0.8 does not and is much less expensive. As in last video, I like using ACE boards in place of R2, but since I am reusing the 0.6 sensor, I need to remove R2 from 88 boards. I. The HPS sensor boards are wobbly, which will make removing R2 difficult. Sure enough, a predictable disaster. Okay, I grabbed an old sensor bar. And modified to make a solder jig. That should work better. And it does. Setting the trimmer resistor for 2.5 volt max output. Because of calibration, I don't need a trimmer, but it's a hobby I can waste time. And using the trimmers should make the measurements slightly more accurate for analytics I plan for the future. We shall see. Getting ready to install the first eight damper sensors. Stocked up on screws and cables. And a second 5 volt supply. A few sensors can be powered through USB. For 88, it needs separate power, and that also means cutting the teensy 5 volt pad and installing a jumper here. I decided to swap sensors, so I am moving HPS 0.8 from hammers to dampers and put 0.6 back on the hammers. I will explain why in a future video. Checking the first 8, will it work? Good. 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 In a previous video, I had started on dampers but never finished. Without damper sensors, the piano uses hammer positions for dampers. So, to debug dampers. Fortunately, I have streaming position measurements. Hooray. Here is what I discovered. To fit over CAN bus, damper positions must be quantized. Here is a 2-bit example. In this case, a damper position of 0.3 is sent as bits 01. The received value 01 is converted to value 0.25 at the hammer. We lose precision. That is the trade-off to fit in CAN bus. Here are damper position measurements at the damper PCB before quantization and sending. Here are two key presses after receiving at the hammer PCB. And look what I discovered when zoom in here. The received damper position incorrectly is zero temporarily. Well, there must be a bug in the code. Couldn't be my code. Here is what I found. If the damper position is at 1.00000, which is rare, firmware incorrectly quantized it to 00, not 11. So fix the code. Try again. Good, 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 good. Now the opposite problem, permanent sustain. 
This bug happens when I flip the piano key with just enough momentum to hit a virtual string, but without enough key displacement to cross a damper threshold. I need the damper threshold crossing to generate an event off velocity, and I fix by also adding a level threshold. Okay, remove R2 from 16 more damper sensors, set the trimmer to 2.5 volts, build an ACE board, connect the wires, install HPS sensors, test it. And again, a lot of the open source piano project is tedious. Everything repeats 88 times. If you are tempted to build a piano, be ready for repetition. Test 40 HPS sensors. Next, I finished all 48 remaining sensors, the removed R2 resistors. Set of 88 slightly used 0805 resistors for sale. Three more ACE boards. Installing sensors. I really like that I can pull the entire hammer or damper assembly and work on it at a workbench. And finally, an open source hybrid piano with 88 hammer sensors, 88 bug free damper sensors, and streaming all measurements.